Welcome to Easy Anatomy. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, posterior triangle. Uh, posterior triangle for any anatomical space, you need to cover the following items. First, um, boundaries. Second, roof. What is in the roof? Floor. What is in the floor? And uh, finally, what are contents? Okay. So for posterior triangle, basically the boundaries is made by two muscles. This is the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which has two origins, one from sternum and one from clavicle. Okay. This is manubrium, sternum, and the other one is clavicle. There is tiny space here, this is space we call it lesser supra clavicular space. The second muscle is trapezius muscle. Trapezius muscle. So this is the posterior triangle. So pay attention to the fact that sternocleidomastoid, sternocleidomastoid muscle divides the neck into anterior. Here is the anterior triangle, and here is the posterior triangle. So this is the boundaries. Anteriorly by the posterior border of sternocleidomastoid, posteriorly by the anterior border of trapezius, and from blue here you have the clavicle. Okay, what? What is in the roof of the triangle? The roof is made by skin, superficial fascia, the fascia, and between there is platysma. So in the roof, you, get, you will see in the roof of the triangle, you have a skin, fascia, platysma. You have some Vessels, which is external jugular vein, nerves, cutaneous, branches of cervical plexus, plus lymph nodes, superficial cervical lymph nodes around external jugular vein. So this is what you can find in the roof of the triangle. A skin fascia platysma and you will see external jugular veins surrounded by lymph nodes. We call them superficial cervical lymph nodes. In addition to that you have cutaneous branches from cervical plexus. Those cutaneous branches we're gonna cover them later on. The floor of the triangle floor of the triangle made of several muscles. There is one muscle here, deep to sternocleidomastoid. This is a scalenius anterior muscle, so most of it outside the triangle. However, you have a scalenius medius muscle, scalenius medius muscle, and a hiding under it a scalenius posterior, and we call them scalene mass. We call them scalene mass. So scalene mass is made by the medius and posterior scalenius muscle. Then you will see another muscle here, which is called levator scapular muscle. Then there is another muscle, we call it splenius capitis. Then another muscle, which we call semispinal capitis. So how many muscles? One, two, three, four. So those are the muscles in the floor. Levator, scapula, you have splenius, capitis, then you have semi-spinalis, capitis muscle. Usually this is vertical fibers. Okay, This muscle is scalene mass, which is scalenius anterior, so scalenius medius, scalenius medius, and posterior. So those are the muscles in the floor of the triangle. What are the contents of the triangle? 
contents of the triangle. The contents in the triangle, we have nerves. The nerves are brachial plexus, cervical plexus, spinal accessory nerve. Those are the major nerves in the triangle. You have arteries. Those arteries are subclavian artery and some of its branches not all branches but some of branches some of branches from subclavian artery you have occipital artery okay what else inside, inside the triangle of course you will see there is vein which is subclavian vein and the terminal part of external jugular okay what else muscle inside the triangle we call it inferior belly of homo hyoid anything else lymph nodes lymph nodes which located inside the triangle uh, mainly supraclavicular lymph nodes supraclavicular lymph nodes so to summarize the posterior triangle at anatomical space very simple you have boundaries anterior sternocleidomastoid posterior trapezius the base of the triangle made of the intermediate third of the clavicle middle third of the clavicle roof scan fascia, platysma, and inside this roof you will see external jugular vein surrounded by some lymph nodes, superficial cervical, you have continuous branches of cervical plexus, those including lesser occipital nerve and supraclavicular nerve, lesser occipital and supraclavicular, those are the two major nerves which you can see in the roof. Okay. Uh, the floor of the triangle is made of some muscles starting from the scalene mass, scalenius posterior and medius, levator scapula muscle, splenius cavitis, semispinal cavitis. When we talk about the contents, the importance of this triangle that it contains important nerves. Those nerves are brachial plexus and some of its branches, and the brachial plexus is the one which supply upper extremity. Keep in mind that this is a nerve for the upper extremity. Cervical plexus, which give several sensory branches and also supplies some muscles of the neck. Spinal accessory nerve, spinal accessory nerve, it is located actually in the deep surface of the roof. And it, we're gonna talk about it in detail soon. So spinal accessory nerve, which supplies sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius and the traveling between these two muscles. Arteries, you have subclavian artery, is located in this area, I'm going to talk about it. You have occipital artery, is located in, close to the apex of the triangle. So occipital artery located here, subclavian artery located in the lower part of the triangle. Vein, you have subclavian vein also. Okay, sometimes it is hiding uh, uh, behind, under, uh, under the, the clavicle, subclavian vein sometimes. You cannot see it easily because it is hiding under the clavicle. Muscle inferior belly of omohyoid. Inferior belly of omohyoid. And finally, some lymph nodes located here. We call them supraclavicular lymph nodes. Okay, this is the contents of posterior triangle. Thank you.